The lionesses are roaring in protest on the eve of the Women's World Cup as they slam the Football Association for failing to agree on a bonus structure before the tournament. All 25 players have signed a statement expressing their disappointment and putting negotiations on hold until after the competition. The players are seeking performance-related bonuses in addition to the global agreement reached between FIFA and the World Players Union, FIFPRO. While every player in the tournament will receive bonuses organized by FIFA, some countries, like the United States and Australia, have additional bonuses from their national governing bodies. The Lionesses and the FA have been negotiating this additional bonus, but no resolution has been reached. In response, the players have decided to focus on the tournament and revisit the issue later. The Professional Football Association, PFA, has been supporting the Lionesses and is calling for a collective bargaining agreement for women's players in England, similar to the one in the United States. Mahita Malengo, the CEO of the PFA, emphasizes the importance of player rights and conditions being addressed proactively and viewed as a partnership. He highlights that nations without proper agreements between players and governing bodies often face these issues. In 2022, the U.S. women's national team reached a landmark agreement with U.S. soccer for equal pay with the men's team. This included a $4 million deal and a commitment to equal pay in all competitions, including the World Cup. The Lionesses' protest serves as a reminder that progress and parity should be prioritized to ensure stability and focus on the game. As the tournament kicks off, the Lionesses are determined to play with pride, passion, and perseverance, and continue their work off the pitch to grow the game. Stay tuned for updates on this ongoing dispute.